So, you're watching FDM Kingdom with Theo. Um, this week is a non-topic week, non-trans topic week, so we're just talking about body modification. Uh, first thing I'll say is I'm really sorry if my cat keeps interrupting. She's in a really bad mood and keeps meowing at everything, so she might, like, break out. And I apologise if you can't hear me because she's been spazzy. Um, so, yeah. The first body mod I got was my lip, which was uh, this one. I just got one done when I was 15, so I've had that like five years. Um, and then I got this one done a year after to have snake bites. Um, yeah, I, I did. I was thinking about getting them both on one side, but I started to get like this sort of like my lip would go kind of funny. Um, and I looked a bit like Peter Castelli, which I probably wouldn't have minded. But, um, yeah, so, but I just thought it looked a bit, like, more even. If I had it that and I had my fringe that side, I would look really lopsided. Or that side. Um, so I went with having snake bites. Um, the thing is, I don't actually have them, like, closed rings. I keep the little ball thing out because I can never get the ball in. And this way I can take them out if I'm eating or brushing my teeth or something. Um, and I like it that way. It just means that if I put them in my pocket, if I'm eating while I'm out, I usually freak out and think I've lost them. Um, yeah, people find that weird, but I, I like it like that, um, rather than having... And the full rings, like the little segment bits, I can never get them, ever. So it's just easy to have them like, like this. Um, the only other piercing I've had was I had my eyebrow done, and I really loved that, but it got infected, so I took it out. Um, like, bad infection. But um, I'll probably get that done at another point. Um, I would like to get my nipples done at some point, um, but the thing is, this is what my chest is like so far. Um, I don't think I've got that little like nubby nubbin bit, the stalk bit that sticks out, so I don't know how that would really work. Um, so I might have to not do that. I don't know whether they could just do a surface one, I'm not sure. Um, so the first tattoo I got was this one, the fire. Uh, it says we've come too far which is a blackout lyric it was the first song i ever heard them play live um i love that song it's really old um and it basically just means like not giving up and everything um you know we've come too far to give up now it's kind of the where i was heading with that and i just think it's a good thing to remember the next one was um the bit underneath which is the lead singer Sean Smith, his autograph, because he's been like a big inspiration for me and a really great friend to me sometimes, to be honest. He's an awesome guy. And Gav, stop it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I really like having that on. After that, I got this, which is um, I don't mind if it takes its time. Every mistake made was mine. Uh, basically, just saying I'm going to keep working at my transition no matter how long it takes because I know. I need it and um, I don't think the mistakes bit is actually true because a lot of the mistakes I make in my transition aren't actually mine but I like I really love the lyric and I won't explain why um, so that's all blackout stuff really I think it is just gonna be a music one it's just the blackout has been such a big part of my life that it was easier to go with them but I have ideas for um, I'd like a young guns tattoo I don't know if you know of young guns they're awesome Check them out if you like, like, um, Lost Profits, like, alternative stuff, and they're amazing guys, um, but I was thinking of getting maybe a chest done for them, we'll see. Um, after that would be, what did I have after that? I think it was probably this one. Uh, this is, uh, Pac-Man, two Pac-Man ghosts, and Space Invader, because I fucking loved those games, um. This, um, I am planning on having full sleeves or half sleeves at some point. It's just I ran out of money, so I can't really keep getting them. But this is just going to be really colourful, and it's going to have, like, the Fight Club soap, um, the logo thing. Um, stuff from Heroes, stuff from Lost Boys, uh, Supernatural, possibly. I was thinking of getting the, rather, the Angel Sigil or something like that from Supernatural. Um, we'll see how that goes. Maybe The Walking Dead, possibly. I would love a zombie, to be fair. I might get a zombie on that. Um, I basically, I think with tattoos, it should just be stuff that kind of, that you love. And 
even if you maybe don't love it so much in the future, you knew that at one point it was really, it shaped who you were and it made you happy. So that's what I like. Um, the next one was, uh, I've got some on my wrist. It says, Breathe In, Walk Out, which is another Blackout song. Um, it was from a really, really tough time in my life um, where I was getting really angry and shit. And then the Blackout bought out their new album. And I followed them on the whole tour, well, most of the tour, and I got um, the lead singer to write out in his handwriting the lyric, breathe in, walk out, just to remind me that not to get pissy, not to lose my temper, but if things get too much, to just breathe in and walk out and just come back when you can deal with it. And I really, I think that's the healthiest way to deal with stuff instead of lashing out and shit like that. Um, and then the other, the only other one is my... My T-Rex, um, I can't go at the right angle, yeah, you probably can't see it, it's the Jurassic Park, uh, T-Rex, the skull, um, it's just the outline at the moment, but I'm gonna get it shaded in, or filled in, and stuff, and underneath it says, we will hunt you down, which is another lyric, um, you kind of see where I'm going with this, I kind of dedicated my body to the band, um, it's basically, that isn't really, that one doesn't mean anything, it just means I fucking love Jurassic Park, and I wanted to be a uh, badass, honestly. Uh, having a neck tattoo, you know, I'm not gonna say nobody fucks with you, because people still fuck with me, but it's just, it's cool, and I love it, and that's probably my favourite one. I mean, I love all my tattoos, but that is my favourite, I adore it, and it's just, you know. But sometimes I'm like brushing my teeth or something and I just spot it in the mirror and I'm like what the fuck is that and then I realise oh I actually lay down and let somebody put permanent ink on my neck um yeah so I have a plan for a lot more tattoos possible piercings um other body mods I'm not not too bothered with like scarification and shit like that that's not really I think it's cool if you want it awesome but I'm not interested um yeah so that's pretty much it um I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. If you were interested in me flashing skin, colourful skin. Uh, yeah, have a good week. Goodbye.